Hi all. So uh, recently, a lot of people have been asking how I do half gaps. So uh, I've decided I will do a tutorial today. So for those who don't know, half gaps, uh, as I've been calling them, are basically just gaps that are half a foundation wide, exactly, as that's the closest uh, walls are allowed to be placed. So here, for example, I've got a double half gap, uh, both outwards and sideways which allows for some pretty cool footprints, like uh, the circle base inside what would normally be a double peak down 3x3, with some neat peaks, I guess. Uh, I've also been getting a lot of questions about how to do uh, a similar thing with 2x2s inside of 3x3s and 3x3s inside of 4x4s. Um, so I'll be showing both of those uh, in this video, uh, with the 2x2 instead of 3x3 first, just to show the concept, because it's a lot easier to understand that way. The circle base is kind of difficult to understand if you don't know the concept. So to start off with putting a 2x2 uh, instead of 3x3, you're going to need a floor stack it, as that's the only way to really make peaks with this. So I'm making one foundation exactly a foundation outwards, and then I'm going to be extending seven half seven and a half half moves outwards plus a placeable at the end. So if you're extending if you want to extend half gap outwards, you're going to go perpendicular to the direction you want to go. Then after you do uh, all your half moves, you're gonna come back with uh, squares. And so this will make the gap that you need. So you can tell it's the correct gap if you can place this foundation inside the other foundation. Um, then you're gonna, I'm just destroying some of the foundations, and so that's got exactly half a gap outwards, but it doesn't yet have the gap sideways that I also want. So to get the uh, gap that I want now, I need to go another seven and a half uh, half moves outwards this time again, perpendicular to the direction I want it. So now, like before, I'm just going to go back with uh, as many squares as can be placed, and that will give me the correct gap I'm looking for. Now, from here, I'm just going to build the rest of 2x2 two two, uh, and the 3x3 three three slash 5x5 five five outer layer, just to show that all walls are in place, and that's an important thing to check. Then, uh, if I was doing peak downs, this is the thing that I've found works best. But uh, you can do whatever, really. It's important to place these triangles first before you place the walls. So, this is the layout that I felt worked best, but there's uh, quite a few that I was able to find. Now, for the triple footprint. So, uh, this is a bit trickier just because. Making a floor stacked uh, circle base can be a bit tricky, so uh, if you're having trouble with that, I suggest maybe slowing down the video and uh, rewinding a few times here. So I'm just making a regular circle base core, uh, just to show that you can expand off the circle base, it doesn't have to be uh, before you even place the base. So here I'm again making another square gap, of, like with the 2x2, two two. Um, and I'm going to go six and a half um, triangle circles out, like last time. half gap, I'm going to make a sideways half gap. So 
So now that I know that uh, the gaps are all correct uh, because they slot into each other, I'm going to place the walls around the circle base just to show that I can still place the foundations even if the walls are already there. So you're just going to be making a standard uh, double peak down 3x3 rim with two squares, then two triangles, then one square, then two triangles, then two squares, and so on, the pattern, as uh, hopefully most of you know. So I'm just going to skip to what the peak down floor would be. So I put three triangles on every spot where there is a 2 by one of squares in the outer ring. Now it's important that walls aren't already in the outer ring um, on the triangles, the three triangles level, because otherwise they won't place. Um, these walls can be placed beforehand, but that shouldn't really matter. So you're just going to do your ring with the triangles of all 2 by ones and like so. And this was the best, uh, again, peak down layout that I found, but there are a few others. Uh, most of them, it's the problem is that you can't place walls with them, so I went with this one because you can, or sorry, like you can't place core walls with them above, so I went with this one because all walls can still place. So then for the outer ring, it's pretty similar again to what a normal 3x3 would be. So it's a little fuck up here. Uh, it's pretty similar to what a normal double peak down 3x3 ring would be. Uh, I know there's quite a few layouts, but uh, this is the one I chose to go with because I had uh, those triangles that poke out, which give even tighter peaks than normal. So, yeah. So for this next part, I'm just going to show that walls can still place on the inside, and uh, I'll do a brief uh, showing of how to actually close the roof. It's pretty much the same as closing a regular double peak down 3 by 3 but uh, just for those who aren't familiar with that or who want to check their work, uh, you see, you know, for anyone wanting to do this, I would really recommend experimenting a lot in the build server for this, because there's a lot you can do with it, and it's not figured everything out, to be completely honest. So, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think, uh, let me know if I should change anything, I'm still pretty new to this, and I fucking hate voiceovers, so, I'm a bit shit, but anyway, good luck, anyone trying this, let me know how it is.